selfish ghost <laughs> everybody and welcome to my channel my name is Tananye and today what I'm going to be doing is showing you what I do to speed up my Sims 3 game um, there are a few things that I'm going to run through so you may want to pause the videos at certain points and um, what I'll do first is the easy stuff and then I will go to applications that I've downloaded to improve it and kind of show you how they work um, so the first thing that anybody should be doing is in your Sims 3 game so if you go into Origin, you launch your game. Ra -ra -ra -ra. Grant, we're in. So you go into Origin, you've launched your game. Now, if you go in here to downloads, all of these should not be here. You should be deleting every one of these as they come into your game. So once you've downloaded and you've installed them, there's no reason for you to have them in here. It just takes up space. So first of all, you do is just select everything here and delete. And the game will do that for you um, the same thing applies so in your uploads folder again all of these files are not necessary um, the only thing I will say if you are taking screenshots and you do want to keep them to take them out of your sims tree uh, screenshots folder and place them into an alternative folder because if you delete them from here and you have not moved them they will disappear from the sims game so I'm just going to delete all of these so that's the second thing that you can do. So you've now emptied your launcher. So I'm going to click out of that. And what I'm going to do is bring you in to... I'm just going to bring you in here. Sorry, now I had an extra folder open. So we're going to go in here. And we're going to go to our documents. Electronic Arts. Sims 3. And when you're in here, there are files at the bottom that have cache behind them you can delete all of these so you can just delete cache composite composite the compositor script cache now i think these are script errors i'm going to delete these as well They're, these this is just your game telling you you had an error so you are safe to delete these um the sims tree compositor cache the social cache so they're all that you need to delete from there that will speed up your game by itself um, so that that is the two kind of folders that you want to kind of empty out now your DC backup again all of the files in DC backup can go except CC merge do not delete this in any way shape or form it needs to remain there at all times so what you can do is just come up here you know shift it as you see I haven't clicked the CC merged and delete so that again is going to fix it um, just as well on the compositor files that we deleted they re um, what you how would you say it? they render up again so they will appear back here every time you launch the game and close the game so before you launch the game just come in and get rid of them straight away it's going to again be the same with the DC backup file so this can be done every single time you relaunch your game now this is kind of where it gets a little bit more complicated and I have downloaded specific files so the first file that I have downloaded is from mod the sims now what this folder does is it will tell you of all the CC that you have in your game what is a conflict what is okay what you know what's causing an issue like if you do download sometimes any sort of item it doesn't matter if it's a sim a house whatever it is it can come embedded with an additional piece of you know custom content that you don't want that can cause major conflict within your game so the simple thing to do is just to download this app i will be linking it in the description and um, so you'll be able to come straight in here now what you do is you just go in here and click on files and this is your folder here so if i click that and download it i'm not going to install it but it comes in as a package file so you will need to um you will need to put this into rinwar or winzip whichever you want to do just to unzip the file um and put it into a folder now what i have done 
for these is I have actually on my desktop done apps to clean computer. So it's actually in here and it will be advisable that you set up a specific folder. And the reason I say that is if you go in here, it has the file Sims tree dashboard, but it also comes with three files that are background. If you put this onto your desktop, all the four files will come in separately and you don't want that. You want them all in the central location. So that is the Sims tree dashboard. I'll just click into this to give you a look at what it is. So this is what this package is. Now, if you scroll down, these are all fine. So this is all of my sims tree custom content including my mods anything i've actually put into the game that is not centered to the game so if i keep going down i don't seem to have any problems apparently <laughs> right so what it is is i have actually cleaned this okay so you will have files here and sometimes when you download a sims 2 file can come in the back of it that is obviously going to cause a problem they're duplicate files, conflict, corrupt, conflicted files, corrupted files, disabled and empty. So for instance, if this folder was say, in fact, a duplicate, it would be in yellow. And if it was a conflict, it would show in orange. Now, how you can fix that problem is you can highlight everything that you want to fix. So if you were to go say up here and we wanted to get rid of these or we wanted to you know look at them you would highlight them here and click fix all problems and what that'll do is it will fix the issue now what I prefer to do because I like to have control of my folders is if you come here and you right click you can open the file location and this is where it is so this is the world that I've put in and if it is causing a conflict you can simply delete it and the issue is solved um, so that's kind of how you can identify any sort of conflicts in your game. I would recommend doing it one by one because I earlier did clear this out and I had quite a lot of conflicts. Now I deleted one item. I closed out of it for the purposes of this video. I wanted to keep the conflicts there, but I canceled out of this the program and I've come back in and that one file has called, has basically fixed any issue that I did have existing in here. So now all the problems are fixed if you fix all the problems you might you know get rid of cc that you don't want to get rid of and or you know you just you would rather keep in your game so just be mindful that if you are doing fix all problems you do stand to lose potential cc that you don't want to lose so it it is better to just right click find the file location and figure out what it is and do it one by one but again it's entirely up to you about how you want to do this so that is the dashboard app now, the next thing that you can do is, and I've downloaded this program as well, is this CC Cleaner. Now, in essence, what this application is, is if you go into your folder, you know, it's basically, here we are, I'll just open this up. This is a CC Cleaner. What this does is it highlights, for instance, your internet cache, your internet history, your cookies, your downloads, all of these type of things, your temporary internet files, they're all system that can be and should be maintained and deleted um, and if you don't it can cause significant you know issues with your computer in, in the sense of slowing it down so all that you need to do when you're in here is I don't actually change anything I let the app stay as it opens and um, I don't include anything additional and um, so this is not what I have clicked this is what the actual application has provided to me so if you wanted to run the cleaner what you can do is just click here and run cleaner for the purpose of the video I'm not going to do it because it does slow down you clicking and you know it will affect me trying to do this video but this is the second app that I use and I find it really useful and please don't be afraid of it what in essence this application is is if you were to go into your C drive or your D drive and you were to go into properties and you clear your folders you know you do that cleanup this is basically the same thing except it puts everything on your computer in one so you don't have to individually clear back your history so it's just a really nice app that puts everything together so that you don't have to individually click into each system so this is the that's that app now again this is where you download it from I will provide a link to in the description and all you have to do is just start the download it pops in straight away and again open it and extract it 
I would again, you know, just reiterate that I set up a folder. Mine is simply called apps to clean my computer and put the two in, put Sims 3 dashboard in there and also the CC cleaner so that everything is just there and you're ready to go and you don't have to go looking for it. Now, the third thing that I do for my computer is I go in and I look at my graphics card. So for the sense of I have, I'll tell you now, I call this Nevada, it's not, it's NVIDIA. But anyway, it, it doesn't matter what graphics card you have or that you use, the, the, what we're going to do is the same, it's just this is the one that I have. So you just click in to the control panel. Okay, so when you're in the control panel, it's manage 3D settings. Now mine autos into this and you just go into program settings if it would ever load. Okay, so program settings. Now, what you want to do is select your folder that you want to look at. So for us, we're going for the Sims tree launcher docs.exe. That is what we want. Now, your graphics card, as you have it, will prioritize the game under all of these different folders. Don't fixate too much on what they are. Just have them, if you have NV NVIDIA, you know, if you mirror what I have here, this will speed up your game considerably. And what we are doing is we are telling our graphics card to prioritize the Sims tree and to work harder at rendering and on its performance. That is, you're focusing your graphics card to your Sims 3 game. So if you do have other games installed, it may slow down those other games, but, you know, it just depends on what you want to do. I am very much focused on The Sims 3, so I want to put all of my graphics cards, you know, memory and application speed onto my Sims 3 game. So I'll go through this quite slowly because there is a lot to it. So for the first one, which is anastropic filtering, you can click in here and you can change them. But you want to make sure that that one is application controlled. For the global setting, for the... An Oh my God, what is that? Anti-aliasing, whatever. The FXAA, you want to have that off. For your gamma correction, it needs to be on. For your mode, again, application controlled. Your settings, application controlled. Your transparency, off. GPUs, all. And I'll just keep kind of scrolling down here so that there's a sense that you can stop and you can do this with me because I know this will take a little bit of time. Um, so it's just to have them all mirroring what I have here and you can change absolutely everything. So you just need to mirror the settings that I have. What I will do is I will link in the description to the settings that I do have if it makes it that little bit easier for everybody because I know stopping and starting a video is going to take a little bit of time. So once you have your settings that are going to mirror what I have here, that what you've told it is prioritize the Sims tree as I mentioned. So once that's happened, you can click out of this. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. So every kind of piece that I've gone through here with you should speed up your game. Um, mine, before I did this, was really bad. I would get la lag, rendering issues. You know, I would have really slow loading times. And once I installed it, it it's after moving incredibly quick. Actually, I'm very, really, really impressed with it. And the game is loading in a couple of minutes and I have no rendering issues whatsoever. So I hope that this has helped. I will link absolutely everything that I use in the description. Um, I will, you know, put in, if I can, as much kind of information in the description as well. But if you do want to speed up your game, this is a great way of doing it. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section and I will come back to you. I'm more than happy to help. I know when it comes to changing your systems, it can get a little confusing. It's a little daunting. So if you have any questions, I am more than happy to help. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and take care.